Hi, I'm Pieter Rabens and welcome behind the scenes of our latest short film. This adventure started a few weeks ago with four friends. We were working on a completely different project. It was going to be wild, dramatic, full of suspense. But the script was stuck. The story wasn't even near finished. With only three days until we would start shooting, the four of us met. We only had a very limited time we could spend on this project, so we knew we had to come up with a completely new story as quick as we could. Luckily, Maxime has this special hobby. She likes to photobomb. She likes it a lot. And so our story was born. Stimulate those muscles and chew and chew and chew. A O E U E. Ray face, Botox, face of your future. Ray face, Botox, face of your future. Beautiful girl, you can do this. You can do this, girl. We're gonna do this. You're gonna go get the question right. Move those faces. Okay, we can do okay, this. Go, go, yes. go. The interview and most of the B-roll was shot in one day. We shot a documentary in the style you see a lot these days in mini documentaries with lots of b-roll, lots of sliding shots and close-ups. We did this because we think it looks cool but also to bring more life in the pictures and to pull the viewer entirely in the world of Susan. The shoot went surprisingly smooth, definitely seen the amount of preparation that went into it. The role of Susan of course was like a second nature for Maxime. Good! Okay, okay, we can do this. This is the final question. Okay, concentrate, just feel it, feel it, okay. Repeat after me. You're beautiful, you're brilliant, you're great. You're beautiful, you're brilliant, you're great. And beautiful, and brilliant, and great. As we all know, the better your gear, the more magical powers to create better videos. So we used the Canon 600D with a couple of different lenses. For audio, we mounted the Rode Video Mic Pro on a boom pole and plugged it into the camera. And you are beautiful, and you, and you, and you, and amazing, you're all Brilliant, amazing human beings, and I love you so much. This project showed us that while developing a short film, we should always be open for new inputs. If something isn't working, just throw it out. Sometimes it's better to put your old ideas aside and start with something completely new. No matter how much time you have or what gear you own, if you want to create something, there's always an opportunity. And that other story? Well, we might end up doing it next time. <laughs>